What's up, guys? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Kanye West, you are out there shucking and jiving and apologizing. But baby, listen, two, three things, right? People are saying that the only reason that Kanye apologizes is because he is going to make a play to have North around him more. Also, if y'all haven't heard, North is in there tearing down the curtains. Literally went on TikTok strike until Kim let her be with her daddy. But baby, for those of y'all talking about something, Kanye apologized to the blank community. Where's our apology? Y'all, it's just come out that <laughs> Kanye used chat GTP. Kanye used an AI chat bot to write his apology. Why did anybody take that apology seriously? Do can people not tell when that man is trolling? But speaking of trolls, his Chicago crew is mad AF at him. Because apparently Kanye got a big ego. Y'all, let's get into this. The only person that has not escaped Kanye's foolery is Bianca. That's because she is happy running around looking like a little cracked out Tinkerbell. It's like, honestly, I do like her new little, um, her new little fur hat look, right? Listen, Bianca is enjoying being Miss West. She is being the best stepmommy in the world. People said that her and Ye might be working on their own kid, but forget all that. What are we going to talk about? Let's talk about North and the problem that Kim is having with North. See, here's the thing, right? If you think about it, remember when Kanye was doing his rants and he said that North had to tear up couches to go see her daddy. Well, if we look at the timestamps of North's last um, TikTok, it looks like everything adds up. The lot, You know, Kim loved having North on TikTok. Every two or three days, they were posting content. North went on TikTok, I believe it was December 9th, right? And she was doing like all this stuff. She literally went on strike and we did not see one post from her until I believe five days ago. And that was when she came back from hanging with her daddy and she did a dance to just bless me, just bless me, right? She was dancing to her thing. There was a post in between there, but it was a photo job. And then it was something from in the sink. So when I saw that, I said, did Kim give her the time off? But here's why they're saying that Kim is literally doing the La Freak. Because at the end of the day, Kim knows that the Kardashian money is not built on any type of talent. Now, I'm not saying North and them are not talented. I'm saying currently, Kim, Courtney. I mean, Kendall, they say has a talent, but that's just walking around like looking dead eye on the catwalk. Kylie got a talent, but I don't think we can say it in public, right? And Courtney is literally married with children. But the thing about it is that with Kim especially, she doesn't really have a talent. Everything she throws at the wall doesn't stick. Remember when she was going to be a lawyer? She can't pass the bar. I know she said the baby bar is actually harder than the actual bar. But we know that's all cap because Kim has not sat for the bar. And she's been doing this apprentice thing for over how many years? Kim's not really going to be a lawyer, right? Again, that was just a ploy to get into political stuff. But then when you get into the acting, yeah, she was in that Ryan Murphy stuff. But come on, let's be serious. She's producing something. I'm sorry, she's starring in a vehicle for Netflix. And y'all talking about, oh my God, Netflix, Netflix, Netflix don't even want Netflix anymore, right? She hasn't been able, the political Kim, the, the social justice warrior, nothing has been able to stick. The only thing that sticks is her showing up on Keeping Up with the Kardashians, what is it, on Hulu, and everybody just dragging her because she seems self-centered. She doesn't seem like a nice person. And Chloe is busy licking her feet. That's oh, the only reason she makes waves. The fashion girly... What's Dolce & Gabbana doing? I mean, all she did was sign, use her social media, um, I guess, because I mean, again, Kim is super, super, super popular. Anybody that stands next to Kim, she will shine a spotlight on you. So she used her social media clout to shine a spotlight on Dolce & Gabbana's ugly clothes. She did not elevate it. Michael, Mark Jacobs, what is he doing? Again, Balenciaga, but come on. Are you serious? Is this where we're at? Balenciaga, that's your claim to fame. The cha the Pedialyte beer special. Again, nothing Kim has been putting out has been working. Skims has worked. However, Emma Gerd, Kanye West, Jared Kushner, and a few other people own more of Skims than Kim. And again, y'all can believe that $4.5 billion evaluation all you want. Kanye was worth 
how many billion before he lost it overnight. It's just stock valuation. It doesn't mean anything. Kim knows in order to stay relevant, she must keep a fit to the next generation. As much as she says that North is doing this for fun, mm -mm. anyway, North, again, the same age as it happened with Courtney's child, Mason, it's like, I'm sick of this. I don't like this. I don't like fame. What are we doing? Are you seriously thinking a 10-year-old who literally is super close with her father, who is an international superstar and can bring her on stage for her to perform and sing, do you really think that Kim doing paparazzi strolls is a bigger thing? Anyway, Kanye himself said North literally had to tear up the couches to come see him. And people are saying, again, the streets hasn't been independently verified, but let me tell you what the streets are saying, right? Um, the streets are literally saying that one of the conditions for North to spend more time with Kanye West, again, they had a custody agreement, but North wants to be over there more. Kim doesn't know what to do with North. North is too strong will. Kim, like, again, like Kanye said, the nannies are raising the children. It was said that one of the conditions for North to be around Kanye way more tour, all that stuff was to, to apologize because he was somehow, at least this is their logic, making North some type of target with the people that don't like him, ada, 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 right? Show a good example for your daughter, blah, 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 blah. This will be an olive leaf. So they're saying that Kanye actually apologized for what happened uh, with the J community. The only problem with that is Kanye West being the typical troll. <laughs> him being, listen, Kanye's funny. Him being the typical troll, it was generated by AI software. You know his biggest haters, TMZ, were going to say that. TMZ can't stand Kanye. Too bad that TMZ don't got nothing. Don't got nothing to do with that. They said... Kanye West's apology for his tirade of anti-Semitic comments lacked the animated flair the megastar rapper typically uses in his online posts, and it reads straight out of the artificial intelligence chatbot. After Kanye posted the apology on social media, fans started accusing him of using AI to get his point across, so we did some digging and made a shocking discovery. We plugged Kanye's apology into AI content detector, which highlighted some strong buzzwords typically associated with chatbot phrases, including sincerely apologize, it was not my intention to hurt, and promoting unity among others. The AI content director says there's an 85% chance that Kanye's apology was written by a computer. He also posted this in Hebrew. And when I saw that, again, Everybody's owed an apology from Kanye, but I literally giggled to myself because I said, you know what? It do look like it. It, it. I would believe it came from an AI chat bot. Anyway, he said, I'm sorry. Uh, that uh, He said, I sincerely, I sincerely apologize to the Jewish community for my unintended outburst caused by my words or actions. I'm sorry, for any unintended outburst caused by my words or actions. It was not my intention to hurt or disrespect, and I deeply regret any pain I may have caused. I'm committed to starting with myself and learning from this experience to ensure greater sensitivity and understanding in the future. Your forgiveness is important to me, and I'm committed to making amends and promoting unity. <laughs> listen, listen. Kanye is a troll. He was trolling. At the end of the day, it looks like he's getting his wish because, baby, that sounds like the apologies that everybody else gives the Black community. I guess he has transcended. But anyway, y'all, back to Kim and Kanye. Do I believe Kanye's apology was sincere? Has he apologized to the Black community? Has it like at the end of the day, Kanye is going to be Kanye North being around him is a different thing. And let's also not forget that even though North is what, 10, she's about to turn 11 years old. Let's also not forget that in California, I believe you can be emancipated from your parents at 12 years old. I also, but especially if you have income, I also believe that I believe 14 years old is when you can actually tell the custody judge, no, I'm not going. I'm staying here. Y'all listen, there is something definitely on the horizon with North, with Kanye, with Kim. 
And I'm going to keep y'all posted on it. But y'all, can we just giggle at Kanye's little AI chat bot? He is such a troll. Apology. But that's what happens when you make somebody apologize so they can see their kid. That's what happens. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.